All right, guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to review a numeric short shift kit for a Porsche 911. My buddy Milton uh, has a 2016 911 GTS with the standard manual shift mechanism. The, I told him I did a test drive of the Carrera T that had the Porsche short shift kit installed, and I told him that that short shift kit felt fantastic. The throws obviously were shorter, but it just felt great having just a little move of the arm. You just felt like you were shifting faster. So I was raving about it so much that Milton said, you know, I'm gonna do some research. And he found this uh, short shift kit made by Numeric that comes highly recommended. So instead of putting the Porsche short shift kit in, Milton's gonna be putting the Numeric kit in. So uh, I'm gonna go with him. We're gonna drive the car, give you some impressions of the way it feels stock. And then after the numeric kit is installed, we're gonna drive it and see how that feels. So uh, come along for the ride. I hope you enjoy. All right guys, here is Milton's 2016 GTS. It's a fantastic looking car. 2016 model, all blacked out. It's a good looking car. All right guys, welcome to Milton's 911 GTS with the manual transmission. We're here to evaluate the standard shift. So it feels fantastic to be honest with you. We're in the city here, not the greatest place for driving anything really. Yeah, it feels good. Pretty, very positive and feel very smooth in its transition into the gear. Very smooth. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'm, I'm very happy with the feel of the standard uh, transmission. But having said that, the Carrera T short throws just felt really good. It just, because you're just moving your wrist, it's just a snick, snick, snick. But boy, the GTS with the manual, it's, it's fantastic. This, I have a PDK, and do I regret getting the PDK? I don't regret getting the PDK, but there is something so nice about a manual transmission in a Porsche. It, they feel fantastic, they work very well, the shifts are so smooth, so it, it does make me think, did I make a mistake? But no, no, I, I'm happy with my PDK, but this manual feels fantastic. This is a great spec for a GTS. So that was my drive around the block. There's no need to change from the standard shifting uh, lever. It makes the shifts, it feels smooth and nice. How does it compare to the Carrera T? The short throw just felt incredibly sporty when the shifts are that short. So uh, let's see, let's see how the numeric model feels. All right, we're here at the Porsche Center to get that service done, get that short shifter kit put into my buddy's GTS. Of course, I'm here along for the ride for moral support. Here's my Porsche 911 GTS with PDK. And here is my buddy Milton's GTS. This is Milton, who has this beautiful GTS with a manual. I am a uh, fan of manuals. <laughs> exactly. I want to be engaged. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You have the, you have the normal seven-speed seven shifter speed, right. on the car right now. This is straight from factory. That's right. Uh, how do you feel about it now? About I it now? think it's absolutely beautiful. It's silky, it's smooth, but like most car enthusiasts, I wanted to modify the car, do something. But the car really is so spectacular the way it sits. It's really hard to come up with what it is that you really want to invest in without going too crazy. Right. I drive on the street, an occasional sporting event. I don't want anything that's going to be... I really do lean toward the Grand Touring uh, as opposed to my younger days. But I do get on the car uh, here and there. So the short shifter kit seemed like a uh, fairly simple mod that I'm curious to see how that turns out. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to get the uh, numeric uh, short shift. Now that's a short quick, curious question. Why did you go with the numeric one versus, I guess, what Porsche offers? Because they offer a short shift kit too. Well, some of the forum conversation mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. and also some friends that are technicians 
professionals within the arena mm -hmm. also uh, preferred the numeric uh, mm -hmm. over the uh, Porsche short shift. Right. Some of the feedback I, I got was that I might find it to be notchy. Mm. And I even had some professional folks that are in the business uh, who have experienced them said they would, if they were me, they would leave the original Interesting. manual mm -hmm. uh, uh, shifter in the car and they would opt out of a numeric. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. I test drove with another buddy of ours, uh, Aston, a Carrera T that had the Porsche OEM uh, short shifter in it. Yes, I love the feel of the short shifter in the Carrera T, but it's not a necessary change. You know what I'm Absolutely saying? Absolutely not. It's not like, Absolutely oh, you got to do Actually, it. Actually, I'm a little fearful mm -hmm. that uh, the experience is going to be less uh -oh. well, we'll rewarding. See. Uh, but I'm going to go for it. It is one of those modifications uh, that I'm told is pretty much plug and play. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I don't like it, they can switch it back. And the, uh, from what I'm told, the hours uh, associated with the install is one or less. Maybe. If I don't like it, I end up with a very beautiful numeric short shift kit paperweight <laughs> or, or some piece of art in my uh in my uh, home or garage that i'll have to explain uh cost me about seven hundred dollars uh my seven hundred dollar disappointment <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's right. all right guys we are going to measure the throws right now as best we can uh of the standard oem shift levers i'm gonna go forward in the first gear i'll come back about three and three quarter inches. And also measure the height. From yeah. the console, mm -hmm. four and a half, five? Yeah. All right. Five inches. So this is actually how it looks. See the linkages mm -hmm. and the engineering that happens underneath that shift boot? Yeah. It may take you a little while to adapt to the shortened thrust. Well, fingers in there. Oh. Left, right. That was right. Oh, interesting. So is that what would cause some people to think that this is notchy? Because I noticed that, okay, there was a little bit more it's always resistance. Gonna, it's always going to try and return to center. To center. Whereas this one is only dependent on the transmission, essentially transmitting spring tension through the cable back to the console. Whereas this one has a built-in spring for a self-center. For, self for it to come back. Yeah. Interesting. And it snaps back hard. With that. Yeah, that, this one, the numeric does. You can see the, uh, yeah, the play is just so, I don't want to say loose, but smooth, I guess. Is this stick actually longer, or, or will it sit, so this will sit actually shorter? The final install position on this is adjustable. It will, I, most of these I've done, people have said, make it as short as you can, so it'll give you the shortest perceived throw. Yeah. Obviously, the taller you make it makes you a perception of a longer throw. So most people say, just get it as low as you can to give me the, the sensation of sh shifting the shortest. Like I say, this is fully adjustable, like about an inch. Oh, look. I see. So, so you, you just, just screw it out and then yeah. pull this and bolt back down, and then you lock it down. Right. Very good. That's fantastic. Cool. This thing looks like a work of art, you know, a work of engineering art, and this is like all plastic, but whatever. Yeah, this is it works. for the masses. <laughs> exactly. This, this is the most efficient way to do it financially, I would say. Right. Because otherwise you're going to put this part, the price of this part, on top of every car you build. Exactly. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with this. Exactly. It's fully functional. It'll go through your gears. It'll do everything you want it to do. Exactly. But it's not as nice as those. We go do some parts swapping. I'm going to drop it. Right, there it goes. It's going to go back to get the work done. So here it is. <laughs> Don't look, Milton. It's all pulled apart. Wow, so that's what happens when you take your transmission linkage out. Here's how it all looks. The whole center console has to come out, of course, which makes total sense. But the new one's about to go in. it installed that's cool look at that there you have it nice all right so we installed a numeric sport shifter 
It's a direct drop-in replacement for the OEM shifter. No changes. It's completely reversible. It tightens the shift pattern. It shortens the throw. And it's really driver's choice if that's what they want. Currently is at its lowest position. You can raise it and lower it about an inch. You know, we did the initial measurement. I believe it was three and a half inches. Using the forward edge only, and I come back. Now we're about two, maybe two and one sixteenth inches forward to rear throw from the previous three and a half. How does it feel? Less than, it, 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 it's, it's stiffer, right? It feels. Yeah, look at it spring right back, which is what we. It's much, much direct and much stiffer from yeah. a spring tension standpoint. Now, one of the one of the concerns that was shared from me from with people that have, have experience with it is that I might experience notchiness. And it does feel notchier, but it's really not offensive. I mean it does it's not as silky smooth. One of the reasons uh that it may not be as offensive, I'm told, is because my car now has ten thousand miles on it. When he installed on other Porsches and other vehicles, the cars were brand new, less mm. than 20 miles. Mm -hmm. So this has been, you know, broken in. Right. And, you know, it's it, it feels great, but I do like it lower, and it doesn't not it does not offend me or concern me what I'm feeling right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to take it out on the road and, and try it. Uh, this is it, guys. This is the first drive with the numeric sport shifter in place. You know, you, I've driven the car for almost three years now, so I've got a unconscious feeling for where things are and how they move. And this almost feels, uh, you know, it took me a little moment there to make sure I wasn't in gear. All right. It's so, it's so tight. But there you go. I mean, yeah, uh, look at that. Look at this that. thing. The spring tension is yeah, yeah. Much more significant. Mm -hmm. um, not uncomfortably so. I like it. You like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. To see what. Oh yeah, it, do, it does feel faster, a little less slop, if you will. And uh, of course, I wouldn't have said that yesterday, but now having the short shift kit installed, it, it definitely makes it feel uh, much more crisp, direct, custom built. Those little fears you have with modifying a car and you go, oh boy, I hope I didn't mess up the recipe here. Mm -hmm. But I do not feel that way at all. It actually, uh, this looks like it's gonna turn out to be a score guy next to us that's going to try to beat me to the punch. This car is amazing. <laughs> Even though I have the same version, just for pity, <laughs> it's awesome. This car is so great. That, that engine noise, I don't know if this mic can pick it up, but mm, it's so good. Downshift feel good? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a you know, there is a little more purpose built, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. It's it you can feel that it's built stronger, so you can put a little more hammer into it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not that you not not that it's really necessary to hammer it. But, right. You know, you have to it feels almost like you have to give it a a tad more guidance. Right, right. But that guidance it's short. I mean, right. You don't have to drive it home. Wow, it is short. Ha, this is amazing. Wow, interesting, interesting feeling. Oh, it's so sporty. You know what I mean? Because oh, it's yeah. so quick. Oh yeah. How's the uh, how's it compared to the Carrera T? Uh, the Carrera T seemed a little smoother. This one's a little bit more 
you know, mechanical in how mm -hmm. it feels. Watching your movements, even they are just so much shorter. I can imagine on a track, this is supposed to be fantastic. You know, yeah, you have oh to yeah. Quickly, right, or an right. autocross or something right, like that. Right, right. Now I'm just shifting just to be shifted. <laughs> right, yeah, oh <laughs> yeah. Feels yeah, good. yeah. So, what do you think about being in a manual? I like it. Checking out the shift gear thing, know, not doing 200 miles an hour. <laughs> all right, over the fucking bronze roads. All right. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm right. in a car that I love. I know. Well, no. You're, you're the PDK. You spent three minutes talking about PDK on your last video. That's true. Took a dump on the manual. No, you're never taking a dump on the manual. No, you just no, talk no. about the PDK. No, no, no. I, I've always loved manuals, but I, I guess I've missed it. I've missed the manual, I have to admit it. So now I'm just enjoying the drive. I, you I do I'm miss it, particularly in your own car. Yeah, exactly. In the same spec as your own car. Yeah, it's like, wow, this feels amazing. And with this added bonus of the short shifter, it feels really good. This is very aggressive. And you notice how aggressive I was driving, right? Yeah, and, and it's, it's like, like, it, it takes just, it no it, problem. Yeah, it, and it takes it no problem, and you just you just want to go up through the gears. Oh yeah, it's did 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 yeah. It no, makes you it. want to shift. Oh yeah, you know, Joe, you've driven it quite spiritedly <laughs> yes. and concerningly for me. I don't know if that's a word, uh, but I do understand that when you're in the passenger seat of your own ride, things appear different. Joe, your thoughts? Oh, I, the the short shift kit by numeric is fantastic it feels great i love it when you're really driving aggressively it, it feels fantastic and i think it was a great decision to put that in this car it fits the nature of this car this, yeah i i'm impressed it's much firmer you really have to put slightly more effort into it than the carrera t's porsche short shift kit but it'll take you exactly where you want to go exactly the it's gate great. will take you exactly where you want to go yes it's where with precise. the original one with a little bit more slop yeah you could find that position between two gears between where you were supposed to be and kind of nudge around in there and if you're not you know sharp with your shifting right this one really prevents that a lot yes puts you yes. exactly where you're supposed to be very precise so you're the owner milt are you happy with this choice i am extremely happy mm -hmm. congratulations man <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. you for giving me this car i really appreciate yeah, it. yeah exactly <laughs> you can take the pdk he drove it <laughs> like it was a Hertz rental car. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> you were having some fun there. Yeah, it was fun. All right, good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to make it, and that car drives fantastic with this new short shifter. Uh, it's something you guys really should look into. Again, I'm not endorsing Numeric per, per se. I'm not getting anything from Numeric, but it did feel great in the 911 GTS. Driving that manual GTS was a lot of fun. I have a PDK, as you know, and it made me think, you know what? The manual is really engaging and a lot of fun. I mean, I still love my PDK, but having that short shift, numeric uh, short shifter in this GTS felt fantastic. And I think he seems pretty happy with it on his first drive. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Safe driving, everyone.